Hello everyone, welcome back to another mini tutorial session here on Procreate 5 on Ghost Paper. And for today's video, we're going to take a very quick look at seeing your brush cursor size whenever you're making your illustrations. So the question also is, why do I want to see the brush cursor size whenever I'm, uh, whenever I'm actually working here on Procreate? Well, the answer is quite simple. Let's just say this is an example that I've used from a previous video and that we want to paint some shadows onto this leaf. And if you just look here on the layers panel, we do have uh, a new layer that I'll just create quickly, which will be a clipping mask layer. So we already have a soft pastel brush here and a darker color that we want to use to paint those shadows. So if I were to just paint those shadows, as, as we know, because it's a clipping mask, it's uh, respecting the boundaries of, of our base layer, so I don't really have to worry too much if I'm painting here on the outside. However, if I paint here on the inside, I don't really have a location or a sense where the brush size is actually covering this element. So, in fact, what I wanted was to paint the shadows more at the periphery or on the outside edge of this, uh, on the right side of the leaf, but I just got actually painted almost halfway through, if not even more, on the leaf itself. So. If you want to do see the brush size, we go into the Actions menu, make sure that you go into Preferences, and right here we have this, this option Brush Cursor. So we just have to set this on, and now if we go into back into our brushes, now if we just even uh, as we paint and hover, you see the size of the brush right here on the Procreate canvas. So let's just quickly undo that, and I can turn it down just a little bit more, and as I paint, I'm now able to see the brush uh, cursor size and where I actually wanted to touch on my illustration. So it becomes much easier in order for us to actually paint some light and shadows onto this element. So that about covers for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did a like would be super appreciated as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon as well so you don't miss anything in terms of tips and tricks, speed paint videos and reviews. And that is all for you to become a better digital illustrator. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.